Hey, what's going on, man? It's your boy Tyler Chronicles. Uptown Comedy Corner, 10th and 11th. That's right. Tomorrow and Saturday, myself, Darren Big Baby Brent, and Black Ron, the Black and Wild Tour. We are coming 7.30 and 9 o'clock both days. Um, the booth is already sold out, so sorry about that. But you can get a, a, a regular seat, but you're going to be a, a VIP person because the regular seats got better views. But anyway, Uptown Comedy Corner, March 10th and 11th. You go, it's all right. It's, it's just a commercial. <laughs> rats on rats on rats. Rats on that. Nigga, how you rats fuck, on rats on how you rats. Fuck with a nigga? I'm going to tell you, that's real crazy. R. Kelly called himself the Pied Piper. That, that was nuts. just like a thumb in the face of the FBI. Okay. Man, that man was sitting outside McDonald's in the limo, bro. Yeah, Nobody said shit. Bro. That is the most trippy hey, shit. Hey, that limo been here every week, every day this week. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> said that was the video. It's At McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was looking for I was looking for other clues. <laughs> did you ever have a birthday at uh, McDonald's? I did. I had, I saw an old picture. Of my, I had to be like three or four or some shit. Maybe I feel like I mean I went to McDonald's so much I had to like that'd be crazy. If you I, never had a birthday party, yeah, and I went to McDonald's, McDonald's. damn near every day when things were good. Y'all had a birth? Y'all had, y'all had a playgrounds in L.A. Hmm? Okay. I thought it was a South thing. Ball just, pit type shit, you feel? Uh -huh. You ain't go in it, though. Y'all niggas yeah. played in the playground? Hell, Hell yeah. When they first That's, dropped, That explains though, a lot. Really good. That Everybody explains a lot. In the McDonald's Remo, play, Remo playing playground. in the McDonald's playground explains no, so much. Bro, you ain't never <laughs> run across the bridge. We're telling you no. No. Man, man, never let me go right, ahead, nigga, you, you got tetanus. Maybe, bro. You don't even know it, bro. That's on. why your stomach hurt. <laughs> that's, why, that's why you're always late, bro. You to got this. Day, this is day. Day, nigga. McDonald's playground you and e. food. Cola. You ate the bro. food and, ooh. Damn. I feel bad for eating the food. You playing hey, on the man, playground. Shout out to everybody that was at the playground at McDonald's. Man, Damn, you man. might as well. You that's might as well went to know. war. You yeah, might as well join the Marines, nigga. You was in Afghanistan a little bit. They got, man, what? You are crazy. You had other people doing What something? playground did you play at, Tyler? I mean, the playground the that they park. built for you. Oh, so the park is yeah. less dirty than the goddamn one at McDonald's? Yep. You crazy as hell. 100%. Man, there's, there's a billion niggas. Both of them outside. There's a billion niggas served at McDonald's. <laughs> it's a billion <laughs> homeless people so got them sleeping on that slide. That's real. But homeless people live way longer than niggas that eat McDonald's. No, nah, they <laughs> eat McDonald's. Homeless people eat McDonald's. No, nah, they don't unless you give it to them. The homeless people <laughs> eat food. <laughs> nah, nigga, if it's food, I'm going to eat it. They, they don't have no dietary restrictions. Fried noodles. Yeah, it's no some vegan homeless people, bro. Hey, man, homeless has changed because... That's what I'm saying. Like, homeless people, like, that ain't like how you think it. So you're saying one of us is homeless? No, I'm saying it could be like... Jesus got it's a nigga with a podcast that's homeless. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So the homeless yeah. has changed. It ain't just he like gets, a street... Well, hold on. The nigga with the podcast got... Well, he upload... Video stuff? He goes to McDonald's. Nah, I'm saying he probably sleep on, on, on a chick couch right? and then go do a podcast and right. then go sleep on his homeboy couch. You know what I mean? Like, that's homeless. That's called ambitions. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling artists. Where age do ambition cut off? Struggling artists. I What's don't know. They'll never cut off. Whoever let you go stay, let them stay. All right. So you you 49 and you hitting couches. Well, what are you trying to do, though? Is you it? are trying to be a uh, you're trying to be a jazz flute soloist. Oh yeah. <laughs> what else? You gotta be trying to do something else. Hey, like, <laughs> just one gig. Are you selling flutes? Are we trying to You're trying to get the Carnegie Hall? Flute. Right. He need to have some kind of product or something. Well, look, though, I sold the flute. To I need to play 3, the 000. flute. <laughs> the flute market ain't there. He, he, I know. He getting just as many shows as flutes. <laughs> right. Seven. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, you don't think the flute going crazy? Nah. I mean, you know, Lizzo might have, might have created a new flute. I wouldn't market. let the jazz flute dude stay because you couldn't see. Like, if he, unless he had a fire like Gangsta Grills or something. A Gangsta nah. Grills flute? Yeah, that's what you got to do. You got to have he something change the game changer, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So he just playing over the old, over No, he got drama. He got drama on there. He got like uh, like real rappers, but he like the flute is the feature. Flouting on there. Flouting on there. Flouting on them folk. He's a flotiste. Well, Lizzo really can play the flute. Yeah, yeah. that shit's hard, bro. And I bet she eat Arby's. She put mustard right. on Oreos. So yeah. She did who? Me, she put mustard on Oreos on TikTok. That's craziness. Wow. I wrote a joke for. Um, I can see that, though. I wrote a joke for, that for BET, but they didn't make it. It was. Um, you can say it here. She was supposed. To, she was supposed to say um, for Taraji Henson. She was say, "Yeah, and and, and uh, Lizzo out here putting mustard on uh, Oreos, girl. That shit is for crackers." 
You know, mustard. You put your mustard was, on crackers. What do y'all think? Yeah, like, that boy got that kufi on the day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> salam alaikum. <laughs> Link the jokes up, salam. Make the jokes up, Come on, salam. man. I'm That's on my dean. Name, I've written sir. so many amazing jokes that I know that are never going to make it on here. I need to just, like, find them one day and read them on here because they ain't never going to make it. Come on. Because I'll be going. They, they hired me. Jesse Collins. Shout out to Jesse Collins, man. Shout out to Jesse Collins, bro. He said, hey, man, do your thing. So I, yeah, don't worry about what it is. We gonna censor how we censor. Do your thing if I can get it on. Like he be, he be oh, like dope. when I said when I write cracker, he be trying to get that shit in. That's dope. Like I try to tell her to say something about. Uh, say he was. Um, he didn't want us to say nothing really about him. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what's the nigga name? Jack Harlow. Mm -hmm. So I just was like, man, we should just be at like, man. Give it up for this cracker. Since we couldn't say nothing about him. <laughs> and he tried. <laughs> he tried, dog. That's crazy. Cr credit to him. He tried, man. I was watching some shit on Showtime the other day. They was showing how he produced the uh, the halftime show with Dre. That shit was dope, man. They are really? doing some dope. Yeah, he did a halftime show with Dre the weekend. Oh, uh, Rihanna. Well, Jesse Collins is big, he did, he did the last three Super Bowls. Damn. Big, Jesse Collins is huge. I got his number in my phone. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> big, big, big shit. Talking shit. What you talking about, nigga? Damn. I mean, on my dean. Now what? Oh my thing. That shirt is trash. Nigga, yo uh -huh. goofy is trash. <laughs> nah, I know nigga. you want to get on it, but you want one. You asked me downstairs. Nah, See when we was bro. outside, the nigga said, yeah, Where you get it from? He was yeah, like, What is purple, I was like, huh? it's not a kufi, it's a hijaz. You look like uh the bully. <laughs> <laughs> At number one, homie, it's a hijaz. Hey, that, <laughs> hey, that nigga getting that LeBron piece, so he don't want nobody to see his goddamn surgery spot. The bully on everybody hates Chris, Ricky Harris, Balbo. Malco, what is his name on there? Uh, Mal Malvo. 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 Yeah. Rest in peace, Ricky Harris. Rest in peace, Ricky. That was funny Jesus. on stage, bro. Man, for real, man. That, he was tied off <laughs> on the goddamn. I was about to say, uh, Doggy style, man. Yeah, he's one of the first comedians that I knew. Were like, oh, it's a comedian like from LA. That's fucking dope. Yeah, he he, he like really LA too. Really LA, yeah. Because I was trying to introduce myself to him. I do that. I, I, you, you ever reintroduce yourself to somebody that you think don't know you? Correct. And I was like, Rick Harris, how you doing, Roger? He said, nigga, I know you, nigga. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah. He was over there and like walked all the way across the room in one step. <laughs> One step, yeah. I know you, nigga. Jesus Christ, I like little boy. Yeah. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you had you had on a wristband. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan was in that it bitch. That it, it, was, it was probably like oh. right before he passed. Probably a couple oh, okay. years ago. Okay, like it went platinum fubu here. Twenty twelve, some shit like that. Twenty ten. Yeah. Well, we had Jersey. Yeah, but he, I don't know when he passed, but it was right before that. So yeah, it was a while yeah. ago. It was at the comedy yeah. store when Ray Grant used to have a comedy store. On did Tuesday he win? Night. No, he did not. Oh, he didn't win. Shout out to Ray Grant. He was running for mayor of D.C. Running for mayor. He was trying to change some stuff over there and put the money back with the people. Bro, but you in know, D.C.? Politics was politicking. In D.C., you got damn right. Politics was politicking. Damn, bro. That would have been a good Sorry, look, though. That would have yeah. been amazing, man. Too amazing. Did y'all see amazing, Selective Outrage? Yeah, damn did. Chris Rock yeah, special, yeah. the live event. Where was y'all at? Where, it's supposed to be a historic moment. Where was y'all at when it played? Did y'all play it live? Nah, I was in a. I, I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> specific. Right. <laughs> Ten o'clock. I was yeah. in the car. I ain't. Uh, oh, I was at, actually at a Chico Bean show at a okay. Variety Playhouse. Right, right, right. Um, shout out to Bean. Yeah, shout out to Bean. Shout out to Bean. Shout out to Bean. Stage man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was like, a, it was money bag drink. Bean, he was like, uh, yeah, man, you could just bring money bag up. And the dude told me, he was like, it's a voice of God, like Mike on the side. I was like, all right, cool. So I was like, ladies oh and gentlemen. God, you went crazy. I was like, ladies and gentlemen, y'all oh, having a good time? Y'all ready for the coffee show? Yeah, give it up for money bag. Mafia. And he came out and did his shit. And I come down and Chico was like, nigga, I meant go out there and you could do some time and you could bring him up. I said, I said, oh. So then <laughs> money bag came off and I walked back out there. <laughs> I was like, Hey, I was the nigga that was doing the dumb shit <laughs> on the mic earlier, but Chico told me I could do some comedy, so then I went and did. That's funny. That's, a Variety Playhouse is actually a nice venue. I don't know if y'all been in there. Never, I haven't been in there before. Yeah, it's like four or five hundred seaters. It's pretty oh, dope. dope. I went there for a field trip, I think, in middle school. Oh, word. <laughs> it's been around that long. Okay, I think so. You niggas saw Mama, I can sing. <laughs> 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 David E. Talbert presents. <laughs> 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 hey, Mama, I want to sing. That's what I want to play for. Boy, that is a crazy Mama, ass I field trip, though. 
My mama, my mama would go crazy <laughs> if they took us to see a nigga play. <laughs> nigga saw Soweto. <laughs> Bruh, that commercial came on V103 every five minutes, dog. Mama want to sing. No, and and, commercial, and Beauty Shop. Beauty mama, Shop. Beauty Shop used to be the shit. Yeah, that's what a uh, big boy got it from. And motherfucking <laughs> Martini and Rossi, I see. Yeah, <laughs> Martini and Rossi, I see. Nigga, that's crazy. More Than Culture is the brand. It's the More Than Culture show. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rod. Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Jordan. He's hey. here to see what we <laughs> fucked up at. Key. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing? been dancing a lot lately, Dang, man. man. been getting them off. They was, they was talking about your one arm tick. Yeah. Okay. One arm tick. Corduroy. One arm tick. One on tip, do your one on tip. Go do, nah, I don't, I don't do one on tip. Yeah, on tip. yeah he don't dance on command. You got the pink hat on. I ain't know what this is. Nah, they don't. What's Fusion. It was Marv. What's the pink hat mean? Try to take the tension off that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you got an eternal water shirt This nigga on. did a come and shoot photo shoot earlier. What did you say? Eternal what? <laughs> I was, I was gonna let you rock. I was gonna let you rock. That nigga, that nigga Tyler just got saved, bro. You gotta stay dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> stay dreaming, guys. We'll be back next Sunday to talk about Philippians. <laughs> Philippians. <laughs> All your good jokes is about church. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I get outside the four walls too, but you know like that. The bun. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I seen something that said Anthony Davis fucked Britney Grinder. Them niggas will make them niggas will make a baby. That's what it said. It said she got divorced from her girl, her uh, her wife. Yeah, Studsman. How you say? Studsman. That's a forever and ever. Wait a minute. Forever. That is a Jason Statham type movie. The Studsman niggas. Does. Nigga, that's gone. Please. That's who said Brittany Griner. I don't we can't even got her. No, man. Whatever Can we title this episode? Stunson. 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 Doc, that ain't going to spell it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you now. So write it down and get it to the nigga this, now. The is where she, she wears uh, tailored men's suits <laughs> with Kyrie. <laughs> Kyrie. <laughs> with Kyrie <laughs> with the label covered on. <laughs> but either way, they got a divorce. And they was like, Anthony Davis was fucking on her for a little bit, dog. And they made a baby look like G Herbo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what got Brad printed. Studs. Yo, the Brad print is fucking with my mental, son. I can't. That ain't kink, man. I'm like, That's, is I'm it afraid. What you Bro, she good. Man? She's an older woman having a baby. Nah, she ain't. Nah, they got low mileage. Uh, Janet Jackson had a baby at 50. Right. But Janet Man. Jackson has been working out for like. 50 years. She's been right. doing touring and dancing all right. and all that. I don't know them past five years. She been cooking, but... <laughs> no, nah, but I'm saying, though, but, it, like, she's been limbering all the... The brat has been sitting down and rapping and in prison. Like, all right, there's a lady years. There's a lady in the Bible. Right, that woman's been in prison. Okay, there's a lady in the Bible. A lady in the Bible. Oh, Here it's going to be funny. Name up. <laughs> Here it goes. Now, there's an old lady who had a baby in the Bible. Esther. Esther. It was it Esther? It wasn't Esther, nigga. It was Man. Esther? Yeah, it sounded like it. I mean, Sound like an old lady that had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> bitch named Esther. <laughs> you know, Esther, man, that bitch had a baby, dog. That bitch 143 years old. You believe that? I don't think How you gonna have a baby and die? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't Ruth either, bro. Old lady, <laughs> <laughs> Geraldine. Right, bro, yeah, if y'all are first, hey, all y'all save fans is like, why, why is would it you? a roof in the Bible, bro? Yeah, that's you a roof in the Bible. You fumble every time, it's bro. It's it's How you gonna know, though? Bible. Why you bringing it up? I'm sorry. No, I think it was Sarah. Oh, old lady in the Bible. What the Sarah, fuck they got to do with the brat, nigga. though? Yeah. It was fucking Sarah. It's Sarah? Yeah, yeah. See, I ain't no more than you. Yeah, I was trying to let you Yeah, man. Hajaz. <laughs> yeah, nigga. <laughs> I was trying, I was trying <laughs> Hey, nah, bro. What does it have to do with what we talking about? Because we were just talking about uh, bitches, right? Whoa. No, we were talking about the brat being pregnant, and I was afraid okay, for her being bad. older. <laughs> I just want to see. The, I, I hope That's an at-risk pregnancy. That was an at-risk pregnancy, too. Sarah and goddamn... Three hundred. Nobody at risk when it's like eight hundred people on Earth. Anybody well, at risk. they could catch a cold and die back then. Other than that, yeah, they did have some alkaline hey, diet. But I just want to see the brat in the delivery room, like, yeah, nigga, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, oh. get out of there. <laughs> she gonna sound like the beginning of me and my girlfriend. Uh, uh-uh, uh, duck and hide. <laughs> Get out of there. Yo. Yo she she oh, have a gun with, a, with no bullets in it just clicking oh, that Oh, shit. Yo, that's <laughs> hilarious. I seen the brat, like, almost whoop, like, five dudes. Like, she wanted to fight four niggas at Cafe Red Train. Why she the pregnant one? I think Guys. she can. I'm talking about niggas saying something to her. She broke Have y'all seen her quick. girlfriend? I think she's. I think Judy. They probably. 
They prob it was oh. probably who was the most likely <laughs> you know, forty seven year old. Huh? No, the, she be probably had the uterus the, the like a 19-year-old, to too. She <laughs> probably empty. That motherfucker ain't been used. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The mileage is very the medium. The over is probably, her plumbing probably good, good. That's what I mean, bro. That's copper piping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like finding a Chevelle <laughs> with like 10,000 miles on it. copper piping, though. I know, <laughs> bro. <laughs> PVC everywhere Come you on, go. man. I'd be deep with it. But, like, where'd you get the shirt from, for real? <laughs> no, so I was at the like, Hawks game and they shot it? that bitch out of that cannon, that one cannon with the they smoke. Like you the drew on it too. That shirt is too heavy to be shot out of cannon. Hell yeah, yeah, boy. That's what I was thinking. Third row, it was quick. Nah, boy, that shit came. That's the shirt yeah. you wear to go. Your girl be like, "Come with me somewhere." It'd be our coworker. She'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> "I'm just thinking, grow up." <laughs> You gonna never get married. This is That's a I'm never getting married shirt. shirt. She gonna say, "Look at yeah. the truck. I got a, a new black T-shirt." Not nah, for real. Back. Where you get it? Store. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens? The nigga, he can take his jeans and fold them up, put it in the freezer in an hour, and pop a shirt. <laughs> and shirt. Be in Yo, that would be so dope. Hey, bro, Ronnie, bro, you ahead of your time, bro. There's a theory in the comments that you just wear trash clothes so that we have something to talk about. Mm. <laughs> no, he's trying. And they're kind of right. No, yeah, y'all need to see him mm. off the show. I think they're giving him too much. Yeah, yeah. Yo, a nigga, check out like, the early episodes. The, the yeah. fashion is a, way more trash. <laughs> he was <laughs> the, <laughs> now you're evolving. This is the evolving. Hey, fuck you mean, bro? This your journey. <laughs> I'm here. Yo, That's for real. Hey, this nigga, yeah, you have come a long way. You did have like a rotation of four shirts. You know what I'm saying? That Bo Jackson shirt time. was so old, but. Hey, man. I might bring it back. I was like, no, that shit that is too vintage. Gonna, like, why are you just, wearing this? But he look, he look tackled now. <laughs> <laughs> First he wore something. Yo, Bo yeah, Jackson is the same age Bo Jackson is. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> I think he's old I'm as sure he is. Like, that that was $400, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you go back, it's going to be OJ on that shirt, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He said, I gave him a break, man. We've been in the closet so long. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga used to wear a church window on his shirt. You remember that shirt? That the had, church window? It was like the mosaic shit. And it was like a dude at the top of the mosaic. <laughs> oh, yeah. That yeah. was my one, son. And he had a dove on his shoulder, but his shoulder was made out of glass. That shit was crazy, I, I bro. Remember. You know what I'm talking about? was crazy, He had four dog. shirts. Them two shirts. It sounded like it was not crazy. No, nah, it was uh, crazy, bro. Uh, it was like my outcast crazy. shirt. Yeah. yeah. It was like my outcast. I had an outcast button. He had a shirt with some lightning oh, bolts. Oh, outcast button up. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking about the the outcast shirt you wore with the tuxedo jacket a few months No, no, ago. I still got that one. <laughs> that was that still shit in rotation. Is in a vault yeah, somewhere, man. Boy. You should definitely still in rotation. That vault, shit got signed. Nigga, New Face took that shit to, you know, Big Boy and Andre. Right. That shit that's a lie. a lie. Yeah. That's of course. That's a lie. Yeah. Yo, Chris Rock caught Jada Pickett a bitch. <laughs> in Baltimore. <laughs> Yo, he called Will Smith a bitch. Yeah, he got his shit off. times, goddamn. Yeah, it's like, oh, I want the wheel to pop up in the special. <laughs> Run it back, nigga. <laughs> Live. <laughs> nah. I hear you, I heard you, little nigga. Like, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you hear me, too. And he sound like that. Sweet Pea talking shit to Melvin in the hallway. That's what the whole special sound like. So can Will Smith get mad? Before we talk about the special, can Will Smith get mad again? Nah. I think he got to mute all this shit. Nah, son. Yeah. Just Will Smith even watch it. Yes, he, bring that Bill Smith oh is there. he got a viewing party with his he family. He was talking about it. It was he on was Fox live. News. They are inside oh, of their Scientology cones <laughs> <laughs> in the house. <laughs> in, their, in their pods. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they did a red table talk review about that bitch. Mm-hmm. That nigga Chris Rock said that we all been cheated on, but I ain't never been interviewed by the person that's cheated on me. <laughs> so when I suck that nigga dick, how that make you feel? Yo. He put the Yo, that's some hurtful shit. <laughs> I was like, that was real though. She a wild nigga for that one. Yo, but she was comfortable. I ain't like how she folded her legs in the chair with them slides on when she told him it was in tank. I was like, you comfortable? She had a dick on. If you got to tell somebody you cheated, you got to be more in control of the emotions. But the, the best part, the you point. like, I cheated, I, fuck you. I like his point was like, we wouldn't even know this shit if y'all wouldn't put it on TV. Y'all making a show of yeah. y'all real. We wouldn't know none of these secrets if y'all hadn't filmed it. Fucking your son's friend is crazy. It's wild for a long time. Yeah, that's some wild shit. That's for sure. For a long time. That's crazy. Yeah, she been toxic in every movie, bro. That's hilarious. When she, uh, Jason Lear, that was she made her bro- his brother go crazy. Shoot everybody. She wasn't even fucking with the nigga in the Matrix for real. Like he was trying her. He was like, yo, I really want to. But people's mad at Chris Rock on you. Twitter. That's crazy. I don't understand. I don't understand. Like he hit him. People got to be mad. You got uh, Twitter is angry. Yeah, the place so. for anger. Yo, you wasn't a success if people weren't upset. 
something. Yeah, I, I, I like it. You liked it? I liked it, man. I like. I like. He said something back, but you know, we sh- you still ain't do shit when that nigga bust your head, but like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't like him ending on the on the um, line. You yeah. ain't supposed to fight, fight in front of white people. people. Drop the mic. It's such a trade yeah. Negro line. Right. Like it's was, such all his swag. He also let white boys. I was say just about to say that. He did, and he and he victim. He told Meg, he was talking shit about Meghan Markle. He said, How you didn't know they was racist? Them the original racist. That shit, that shit was, was hilarious. That was a great point. I wasn't mad at that. I wasn't mad at that. You know, it showed me though that it made me think. I was like, man, I don't know about doing a special live. That's tough. Right, because he did fuck up. He yeah. fucked up. He that had, shit was He nice has a lot of to uh, see. Uh, numbers that he, he says over and over again. He's like, that's right. Yeah. That's right. But if you watch his other specials, they cut all them shits out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. We're doing it. That's right. We're talking about it. Like, they were able to cut that shit out and got to the next joke, so it would be much more smoother. I've never seen Chris Rock search for a joke before, and you could tell. Like, most people... When they had a special, you're not searching for a joke. As comedians, we could tell when someone's searching for. Yeah, what I know some people who've seen well, that you know set what? before. He's been doing that set for a year. That's what I'm saying. Like it's it was produced. A secret, though. He's, Every special is produced. The way that was live is like you got to see the rawness of it. Like you said, searching for the direction, searching for the joke, mm-hmm. even getting laughs that's not overdub is what I appreciate it because it made it I hate seeing. <laughs> True. It made it real honest, like because it's like it's, it's like come it, on, it, it always ain't it ain't always roars in the comedy right. club. It's like we gotta work for this shit. <laughs> you got sometimes niggas the niggas ain't got their food. The stage. Yet. Hey, bro, when I be out there first on the desert show, nigga, I hate hosting, but I got I like it now. But they be waiting on that. F- niggas don't laugh to they get their chicken and Hennessy, bro. Like, they don't give a, <laughs> a fuck. Ho- a host what, is a t- what you got going? Job. What the host is a tough I'm job. Trying. People don't realize that. Yeah, yeah man, man. I, I was just be like, let me uh, let me switch switch with me, bro. I was like, nah, I will just make myself be uncomfortable. Fuck it, I go first. Talk through it. Yeah. Whoever ain't eating. Yeah, Current. yeah. I did, nigga, that, <laughs> Desi let this dude from the comedy club, like a dude from there, go up. Right. Mm-hmm. And his mom was like, "He can me. They don't let him go up here." And then we found out why. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this nigga walked straight on stage. Uh, I work at a gas station. They were like, "What the fuck? <laughs> no intro, no nothing." <laughs> no, how y'all doing? That's actually funny. It was very funny. <laughs> yeah. He Laugh. did. He, he got. He got like one or two laughs. I was like, "Bro, just you know, it's a good starting point if you just starting." You know what I'm saying? But. I had to go up there and be like, cut the music. Buddy went with us, dog. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Buddy went with us. us Man, you did it like that. <laughs> yeah, I had to. I had to. I, that nigga just walked straight up. I, I, All right, so you've hosted for plenty of years. What's a host hack? Host hacks. Um, like you said, that's um. That's a difficult time when you're hosting a show, especially at a comedy club. That's when people are actually getting their orders taken. The feature has a whole different situation. And people are like getting orders taken and they're looking through the menu. So it's, you got people that's not paying attention. My key, my hack is make one table laugh, especially if you got a, a black crowd because we're nosy. If one set of people are laughing, what they laughing at? Oh, they're they laughing. I'm going to laugh too. Then they, it kind of triggers everything from there instead of trying to make the entire fucking – crowd laughing they're talking to the waitress all right so it's just table by table uh, move a little bit like sometimes a waitress will stand right in front of you never get blocked by the waitress always move away from that part of the stage and and maybe not tell jokes per se in that moment you know what i mean like at the beginning or when the, the orders are being taken find out about the people get some call and response shit going and then maybe get into your set the, the beginning of any show is so authentic. Oh. Oh, shit. That's her only hey. fan. She got a new subscriber. Hey. Hey. She was looking at Trey like, is that you're not going to get your phone? She looked right. at Trey like, nigga, you going to just let your phone Trey free? just subscribe. <laughs> like, <laughs> so like, you got twerk music on your phone? <laughs> what kind of nigga is you? That's mine. I'm sorry. <laughs> Click to subscribe ass ringtone. But no, I, I hope that's the uh, telemarketing. <laughs> <laughs> The first uh, part of it is so authentic. So, like, talking about current events or talking about the space, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like you said, calling response is like, I might do some shit. Like, just see the audio. Like, if you haven't heard the audio in the in the space, you'd be like, all the way in the, in the back, yellow shirt. Can you hear me? You good? All right, what's up, dog? Hey, lady. And then you just, you know, work the room to make sure everybody can hear you. Mm-hmm. This is one half. Pulling me in. I seen Remo beatbox. Be, I said, the nigga, hey, he gonna use go all the man. tricks. Gonna Remo go for broke. Gonna Remo go in vaudeville on these niggas. He gonna, <laughs> he, did. he gonna entertain them folks. Fuck now. you, man. He gonna 
I'll sweat for them people now. <laughs> My hand gets <laughs> sweat. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's sweat, <laughs> <laughs> baby. <laughs> CNC Music Factory, that nigga. Yeah, CNC, cuz. My host hack is uh, play the, let the intro song play a little bit. Mm. And just let it play for a while. Like, pick something good that they can. I've been making them niggas sing Usher when I got up there, like, just to get the vibe right. Like, sure. nigga, just kind of some, something we all knew. Like, you don't have to call. You don't, what's the song? You don't have to call. But, like, that shit, they usually get them into it. Like, you gotta, yeah, I have to, I mean, like show start. Yeah, I'm trying to take the room. Like, fuck that, nigga. Look, at, look up here. Y'all, y'all food coming? Like, I address it, too. Mm-hmm. The chicken and Hennessy coming, niggas. Coming. I promise you it's coming. Hennessy. I wish clubs would get people that drinks faster at the very least. Taking mm-hmm. drink orders while the show starting. Is they, they always underestimate the, when it's like a black headliner, oh, when it's packed. and They like, we're out of so much stuff. I'm like, bro, this shit wants was sold to work. out. You ain't got no soda. Right. <laughs> you can't like, run out of fuck? chicken at a black show, my nigga. That's right. detrimental. That's You can't. Uh. That's how I know if I'm going to do well at a show when you walk in the back in the kitchen. They got the racks of chicken already ready, like mm. 30 minutes before the show. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, nigga. The tickets got sold. sold out, baby. They got the racks on deck, nigga. I'm sure they be looking at the, the, the ticket sales be like, yeah, we just need one pan. Yeah, yeah let me <laughs> one, one pan. He drop, he drop, a two drop a 30 piece. <laughs> let them niggas split it. <laughs> let, let the crowd split this 30 piece, man. I'm gonna sit in the back. You know, y'all niggas. Okay, so you liked it, Ronnie? Come on. I liked it. I liked it. I, I liked the. Uh, it, to me, it. it's it's hard to stay good that long, bro. It's hard to be the. It's hard to On be top. like a throw haymakers every single punch for 30 years. That's why Dave is the greatest. Yeah, it's like top, four like, of them type of niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to so, be like a LeBron type nigga. Everybody nah, he's like still that. putting up numbers to me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah he's like what, sure. What, what we gonna give him? Um, let's go. I mean, shit. I would maybe it's even a Kobe, Chris Rock and a Kobe. I can maybe see that. that. We give him Kobe. I give him Long, Kobe. Longevity, high score to the end. I mean, he's still going. Okay, not a Kobe. Scotty Pippen, yeah, minus the stuff. wife stuff. Shut up. Okay, I'll take that back. <laughs> y'all uh, niggas got him down with Charles, like Charles Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, y'all still not. respected, but like Patrick you you? Charles Oakley. Yeah, nigga. Nah, who we we Dwayne Wade, Chris we Rock, Robert or Dave Robert Ory, hella Not championships, but he just in the corner. Dave Chappelle and motherfucking <laughs> LeBron. You LeBron, he got yeah. yeah that's what. Well, I would. I'm Jordan. saying Jordan. Jordan. Who? Who? I'm sorry. Dave Chappelle is Jordan. Oh my bad. I thought that was somebody say Chris Rock. Yeah, that's what we talk. No, we trying to. He's trying to get the uh, what player will he be? Tears right now. Yeah. So what we got we got man. Chappelle at the top. So Jordan, <laughs> Jordan, LeBron, whoever you pick. Boom. Right. I feel like the next tier is the is the is Kobe. Mm-hmm. I'd say Chris Rock would be like a Tim Duncan. Mm. Technical, you know what I'm saying? A lot of championships. A lot of championships. He had big wins, all big wins. And, like, it's never spoken of all the big shit he done did. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, okay. I think it's Tim Duncan. Okay. Just to me. Okay. Robert <laughs> Ory. Play, he, he played with his Spurs. This nigga is not. Ory's a dog, though. Yeah, Ory got five rings, don't he? Ory's yeah, but he wasn't, dog. like, the guy. He was the guy at the end when it counted. Splash. He was the guy when it counted, yeah. Rock been the guy though. Rock been the guy, bro. Yeah, he's like the ghost. Look up to him. The guy. Who be Pippen? Nigga, Arsenio. Tony Rock. Uh, This is Tony Rock. Ain't ain't no really, ain't no really sidekicks in comedy. Oh, not really. Yeah, nigga got to run his own team. (laughs) <laughs> so I see you all in. Got him, man. He the only sidekick I can think of off the bat. Ah! I think I see a sidekick. He is in hey, hey, movies. <laughs> compared to movies, he nigga. Comedy height. Hey, Scott. Hey, our studio character was just as funny as all oh my shit in God, yes. The and Hall of Nights. The preacher at the Black Awareness Rally, nigga. Hey, he was praying for everybody at the party. Come on, man. I'm going to pray for y'all. Hey. I'm gonna but y'all ain't asked a real question. Talk about it. Who gonna be James Harden? Just shoot wild as a motherfucker. It just make it you know. Just wild look man. ugly when he do it, but it hit sometimes. He like yeah, <laughs> Shuggy <damn>. Ducky. Quack, <laughs> quack. <laughs> that shit hit sometimes. You might be Drewski. I don't know. Well, does he count? Because he's brand new. So Nav told me, you know, Nav is on the road with Shout him. Shout to Nav. Um, he's saying he basically just having, you know, the uh uh, could have been records, been records come up but there. I saw on Twitter that first night they was on his ass, boy. They was, it was, I was like, it's first night of tour. But I'm saying he did, he wasn't doing like a set or nothing. He had the people come up there and do stuff, and he was fucking with them while they were doing it. You know? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's People was mad. They thought he was. They thought he was gonna do stand up. That was. Right. I like it that he's changing what it looks like to do a show, a comedy yeah. show, like a live. He probably may, he probably would be better if he like brought a few few comedians. And you yeah, gotta yeah, go yeah. around them comedy clubs and get you some reps in too. You can't you can't part. skip no work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But shit, he's an entertainer. Though. He's a it's he's a lot of it's a lot of entities sure. involved with his tour. It take you, it take a lot of big companies to make that shit pull off. That shit he doing them arenas. Sheesh. And they filling them up, so he got a lot of you know. They got a he got he behind. sold something to them people, and he feel he got to get their yeah, money back. Sponsored by that Happy Dad that's on uh, the pivot that beer. Yeah, know. man, they 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 get to it. You dig? Attach yourself to a brand that's worth pushing, like us. Ha 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 ha. And make sure you like subscribe, man. Fuck this beer. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you like and subscribe. You ain't really fuck with this shit like that. Right, as I know, fur fucked up. He ain't yeah, got his board man, he ain't ready. He got the board ready, man. That shit. You know, <laughs> holding up a blank. Fur look like a coach at OTAs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Special teams coach Fur over there. Called the last uncle. Ha! <laughs> 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 Me and Fur went to uh, Columbus State, and he told that bitch that it was a comedian before hey. me, dog. He had to do thirty minutes, and it was hard. it was brutal. Why was, did he have to? RJ they man, booked him. No, no, no. It was a knacker oh, school. They booked Damn. him. And he, uh, you ain't never he, seen him before, neither. I ain't never seen him before, but he was from Atlanta. No, nah, he was from Denver or some shit. Oh, man. White dude. New York. Oh, on his on his Instagram, say, oh, he's Denver based. He did thirty. He did thirty minutes though. His contract said thirty. He did thirty, <laughs> and uh, the black kids were like that, bro. Who? Eddie. And Fern got that bitch and rocked him real quick. I was like, ooh, okay. Yes, sir. I brought somebody, goddamn it, just to keep the even, nigga. Shit. Walking out. Oh. I feel rough, bro. Columbus State night school too. Also, the other specials that were good. Uh, honorable mention: some more special was really good. Some more special. I enjoyed her special. Funny, yeah. funny as shit. Marlon Wayne's yeah, special was funny too. too. His yeah. whole special is talking about how Chris Rock bullied him as a child. Bro, to, oh, or, and to, to, yes, to do that for an hour is impressive. It's hilarious because it's so many layers. It's like it's not directly spot on what happened. It's so many. But you can see his man. his voice go out a couple of times. I was like, oh, he hurt for real. And it was like he, Chris heckled him a couple of times. Like when he was younger, he oh, stopped wow. doing quick doing comedy and shit like oh, that. Wow. He was just, so he's he like, my 10th time on stage. Bully was a bullier. Huh? Bro, he bully said, bully. yeah, the nigga said. Hurt people hurt people. He hurt said, people hurt people. He said, nigga. He said, as a young comic, when you, well, he said, when you, as a young comic, when you trying to find a joke, you grab the mic stand and fidget it. <laughs> and then you'll say, ah, oh, what's funny? And then the nigga said, all he heard out of the dark in the mist was like, supposed to be you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he said, how the fuck you a Wayans, nigga? You might be Tito Wayans. <laughs> oh, Tito funny, Wayans is funny. He was killing this nigga, bro. <laughs> killing him, bro. Oh, that's great. I'm going to watch it now. Yeah. So sure. here's the thing, I'm going to watch it now. Well, I was telling Ronnie. Well, I told you I was going to tell you about what I think. You be saying a lot of shit is funny, right? And it don't be. Now, here's why. <laughs> to y'all. <laughs> now, here's why. Ronnie watch shit different than we do. I definitely do. Smartism. So he probably sees something that make him think of something funny, and he laughing in his head about what he thinking about that whole time, and that just that that interaction. I feel like you make no. Feel like I this looked shit at funny. it and I enjoyed it, and I'm telling y'all, I liked it. I'm nah, not man. saying I, y'all don't like you a too lot of funny shit. to not know. <laughs> it ain't, I don't know. I'm not saying what's not funny. I'm just saying comedy is so subjective. It's, it is. You can change a but room also, of people and show them the same thing, and they'll be like, "That shit was trash." And then you switch the room out, they'll be like, "Very true." Stig was brilliant. So it's very like true. I kind of look. I ain't talking about like and special. he did that shit in Atlanta. We're all high trained comedians. We go out every weekend, so we got enough, another level of pressure. And we know what it takes to do that. That's what I'm saying. Like, so what? I take myself out of co- comedian brain. All yeah, you the judge way. shit different. Yeah, I judge it as a regular person that like comedy, not a comedian. But don't do that when you're talking to us, though. <laughs> I, you know, when I I'm like saying judge, judge, that, judge that, that shit how we judge that shit, bro. Let go. I tell you when I don't like it. One of the sites last true. special, how you feel? She I ain't see it. I ain't see it. I ain't see it either. I saw one of her special. I don't think it's her yeah. last one, but that shit was real funny. I saw her on her first one. That's what made me be like, oh, damn, she's funny as hell. I never yeah. knew. You know what I'm saying? One of the sites funny as a motherfucker. She's really funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I got to I gotta get up on the uh, Upshaw. Shout out Mitch Marshawn. Mitch. Yeah. Shout out the episode. Go to see the Mitch Machine episode. Yeah, comedy's so hard that I appreciate a nigga putting some shit together, and I'm like, oh, that was fucking clever. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, it's always appreciated. 
Always. Yeah, but you know, we, we, we around some motherfucking real pit bull dogs around here. So yeah, man, you came from like, Atlanta comedy, bro. Ass. You see some of the funniest <laughs> shit you ever <laughs> seen. Yo, niggas life. we know don't like nothing. They be, they like us. <laughs> we yeah. like our own friends. I mean, Marlon did his special in Atlanta, and them niggas was laughing. Like, and that shit was funny. I've never yeah, laughed at. Yeah. I ain't was, never looked at a Marlon Wayans special. It was like this shit is the best shit ever. I, like the last one he did with the headliners. Yeah. I like that. But he like, just started doing comedy again. Yes. Yeah. He said he was retired for 20 years because yeah. of the Chris Rock. Now, I remember Sid was telling me, he was like, yeah, Marlon just kind of like getting into it. And he done put out two, what, two or three specials by now? Yeah. Oh, shit, that's, a, that's fucking impressive. Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's the impressive like T.I. shit. This nigga headlining in, in one year into the fucking. Right, right. Fucking doing comedy. That shit was impressive as hell, man. 45 minutes to an hour, that's crazy. Crazy. Dog. Yeah, I was, in, I was really was engaged dogs. in Marlon shit. I was hollering laughing. I was like, Dude. I'm going to watch it, man. I'm not watching Luke Longy. <laughs> That's where you got me fucked up. I will watch <laughs> Randy Brown <laughs> get down documentary. Randy Brown get down, <laughs> Randy Brown get down documentary <laughs> before I watch Luke Longley, bitch ass. He probably got a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably called Randy Brown get down. You all seen when I dunked on Shaq. He did dunk on Shaq, though. You remember that shit? Nah, niggas don't remember Randy Brown dunked on Shaq, bro. Shaq said he ain't never been dunked on, but well, except for Randy Eric Coleman, Brown somebody get else. Wow. He he left Randy Brown out like, no, nah, he caught your ass on the on the on the for real. It wasn't even on the slick. Is he the Buster right Douglas of basketball? Who Randy Brown? Yeah. Uh, you know who Buster Douglas is? Yeah, nigga. All right. <laughs> I don't know Randy Brown. Yeah, that <laughs> oh, that was a better so question then. Yeah, I don't know Randy Brown. But he don't know Shaq, so that's a big deal. Like, So he was just another, uh, the joke is basically he's just another one on of Michael Jordan's teammates. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you know I mean? But he did dunk on Shaq, like not to put it down. And he could hoop like a motherfucker, don't get me wrong. Yeah, he yeah, wasn't yeah. the man. He just played guy. with Michael Jordan. Oh, he <laughs> Anybody who could hoop around that nigga, did <laughs> shit, he didn't hoop. <laughs> and what do they say, though? Right. Oh, they say wrap up. That's what I see mostly on there. Like. What the if you took what your shades doing, off, bro? trying to be like Lawrence Taylor. He's yeah, trying to tell us to like and subscribe, but ain't nothing on the board, y'all. So, like he gone fish. Matter of fact, text somebody right now and send them the link to one of the, your favorite episodes Ooh. Ooh. and tell them to subscribe Challenge. if they don't. Mm. If they don't, if they don't like it, roast us in the comments. Y'all know how we are. Right, do that. Tell them right, right now. now. Stop. Give every, right five now. seconds. Everybody, five seconds. Give it five seconds. Do it. Thank you. Also, pause. It. You can stop. That helps. <laughs> this is gonna take me. Nah, man, pausing is a lot, bro. Don't yeah. nobody pause a YouTube video. Okay. That big bro. I, I, I kind of come back to it. I told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie think different than us, bro. It's the only thing on earth that pauses YouTube video. Ronnie watch everything in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that kid, that dad life, bro. <laughs> I mean, that like that. What we finna do? <laughs> <laughs> that dad life, bro. Bathroom plush. I got they a got a, in that bitch. They got a, they got a bath cave. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> bathroom is that one spot in the house. Kind of do, yeah, you man. Can go, bro. You like your bathroom in that motherfucker. Yeah, the crazy part is my neighbor. He, <laughs> I can hear him outside the window of my bathroom. <laughs> and nigga be trying to kiss me when I'm smoking. I be like, I, I miss you, brother. Damn, brother. Damn. I miss like, you, nigga. You what? You, like try to smoke with you? Yeah, he be like, oh, oh, no, 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 I'm saying when I go outside, he be oh, like, okay. I'm like, then he can be like, hey, man, whatever you like, got some of that good shit. Like, oh, damn, Ronnie right shit, I can't swear. Ah. You don't want this player. You don't ah. want that pop. You got Fico mad on the I don't want to inhale that. I'm in here watching Bill Murray smoking the doo-doo at the same time. <laughs> at the same damn time. Hey, Ooh. man, Terry, Um, did, did we? are we all caught up on Bill Murray? No, nah, I ain't seen it. Oh, my God, bro. It's so, I just want to talk about it. Are you about to give away something? Yes. Yeah. Lala be fucking. Hey, look. When, For real? When she get her contract. Titties she out? Yeah. Fucking. Bro, everything since, she contracted since she for. She showed them titties. It was like, we need it's them. It's like every three out of five episodes, she a power. Yeah, we need to fuck everybody. You know, and also, my yeah, theory is fuck so, Tariq. Man. She pops the lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, right. I don't give a fuck. Fuck Tasha. Fuck right. all everybody. She fuck with her kids in the tub. Her kids was in the tub on one episode. Oh, I yeah, they were. In the hotel. <laughs> it was in the tub. So it was in the, he I got, got her a room. He got her a hotel. Yeah, like, what the fuck the kids? Talking about they playing in the other room. It's, I don't know if it was in two fucked. rooms. It looked, it looked like it was in the bathroom. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it was. No, you still don't fuck in also, the adjoining too, room with I your had, kids. You, know, you ever get so high, you think of the dumb shit? It Sometimes. might mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought of today. I said the daddy on be able look like he sang the intro song. <laughs> <laughs> I what got everything the- on my mind. <laughs> 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 At least you can wish me love. <laughs>
got a guitar. Wish me luck. Oh my god! Oh, man. <laughs> if that nigga get a lineup, he gonna lose his contract. <laughs> 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 that nigga like a Tecmo Bowl player for real. I don't know why they fuck they cut that man hair like that, bro. Oh man, <laughs> you should go wish me luck. That's funny. As hell. Yo, this nigga started liking that bitch for real. He tripping. He, why, she lived right across the street. They didn't watch it. Yeah, sorry, bro. They ain't seen it yet. Y'all ain't gonna watch it. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just a couple it. episodes behind. Yeah. Y'all watch Godfather Harlem? No. Shit. I don't got what that come on. What that come on? It come on MGM. It used to be Epix. And this is called MGM. MGM Plus. That's an app. I believe yeah. Paramount is the same. So it's on Paramount. You can get it. On, you can get it on uh on it's Amazon on too. App. It'll go through it. I don't think you do Amazon, bro. It's got to be Paramount. I think. Yeah, you got. They, they only give you two seasons. I have seen the first two seasons. Oh I got, shit! I got Prime. I don't got them. Yeah, I ain't got yeah, the MGM. I buy all the apps. Yeah, so I got a nigga. I got some good apps. Damn, but they just be infiltrating our shit. I got this through that. Like the apps gonna, gonna pull up on your ass. Apps. Oh, you don't fuck with me? You fuck with T Mobile, don't you? <laughs> Yo, apps. You know what I, mean? I got rid of cable this year. I got rid of cable this year. I just they just switched me to T Mobile. You had Sprint, right? Yeah, yeah. Sprint died. Sprint died. Sprint out of there. Sprint died. Sprint died. It's sprint, is, sprint is COVID. Damn. Damn. <laughs> sprint. Sprint died. T Mobile. Gone like a. I was the last nigga to have it. Now officially, yeah, man. I I got, I, man, I'm locked into such an amazing plan. Oh, you got grandfathered <laughs> in? I'm never changing Thirty one dollars a year. He <laughs> got, got a pager plan. And that nigga gets seventy I'm minutes. Never my <laughs> I plan. had one of them plans. They were still trying to change my shit. I was like, why would I change it? Unlimited <laughs> no. everything. I'm yeah. not no. changing my shit. I had two more phones. On Sprint had everything yeah, yeah, unlimited. Bro. That's what I be doing, man. Give me another phone, bit. Run it up. That's crazy. I'm never changing that. So uh, Campbell uh, has been taking his spelling test, right? So mm -hmm. he don't be studying this shit. Mm -hmm. The last two, he got four out of ten, right? So yeah. my dumb ass was like, I asked my mom what to do. She said, promise them something. You can't spank kids. They got they need an incentive. And I was like, if you get a, if you get a hundred, I get a transformer. Mm. Nigga, do you know how fast this nigga got a hundred? Go, yeah. go, 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 go. Nigga, <laughs> Fuck you, bro. I caught, like, as soon as I landed, he was he had a sticker from his seat. Dad, 10 out of 10. I was yeah. like, man, you played me, bro. Transform man, bro. Yeah, right. I had to buy it today, bro. I was like, damn, he. Gotta bribe him, chill. He, he motherfucker played me so bad, um, bro. You gotta bribe. You can't beat no more. Well, I'm talking. Uh, <laughs> You can't beat no more. He can't beat I'm talking about Damn, we, used, we, bro, studied, we waited too late. We studied the spelling words every day. We'd be I making him girl. do it, and he was like, you know, he was just like uninterested, bro. But oh, fucking sweet the punch, pot. my son. Whatever my maid believe in, that's what I'm gonna go with. Whatever that's my so maid rare. believe in, this Whatever nigga here, she beat kids. She beat kids. Uh, if she beats kids, if she, 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 she do timeout, she do. If she do timeout, she do timeout. Like I ain't that ain't none of my concern. <laughs> Yo, child gonna be when, thirty and be when like, do I, I get the tra when do I get the transformer? <laughs> That's my Tyler been trying to tell us I he and Carmelo Anthony up. for two years. That nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, hey, Josh, That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> uh, I believe that. Oh shit! shit. Well, what about uh, your boy Ja? What, what's going on with him, guys? Oh yeah, please explain. Got my little gun in the club. <laughs> <laughs> right, Worry about me. I'm a thug. What? So so what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? First of all, the he, nigga he was in the. In the, there was a club. But it was it was an incident before that, I, right? With the little boy, the boy at the house. Or somebody saw. I thought somebody it was a nigga's house. Me. I thought it looked like something. his basement. Yeah, like, like, like I was like like a music studio. I'm sure they gonna cover it up as a, as his house. No, no. Nah, uh, so I thought it was. I was like, oh, niggas just be saying he in the club because that's Twitter. But then they literally was like the real reports were saying he was in an actual bar. It was a strip club. It was like a titty bar. They got titty bars in there. Yeah. So he was at a titty bar, but he had his shirt off, which is fucking weird. Weird as hell. I was like, oh, that nigga on them purse. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I was like, this nigga's got to be he in a drugs. private setting. He's, he can't he be rose. with all his homeboys and a pistol and no shirt on. <laughs> Holding it like Holding it like, is. hold on, what? <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm a dude. Bruh, I got my little gun in the club. <laughs> A little or it, it, like it was a it was 22? that. If you don't stop shooting that little motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> stop shooting that, that shit. That nigga was in the club with a 380 with the dick on it. <laughs> oh, like it. No <laughs> dick. Yeah. No dick. That bitch had number number balls. That nigga, that nigga took that stripper gun. He was doing dancing for him. ball. It was a pistol. It was a purse pistol. No dick on that. Hey bro. man, get that stripper back up pistol. It was definitely a purse pistol. Yo, uh, it like was a P Valley pistol. It was definitely a stripper pistol. Ain't it funny? about me? I'm a thug. Nike drop Kyrie and <laughs> Kim drop. Oh yeah, nah, that's nigga. Nah, they, damn, funny. He didn't do nothing. Yeah. He 
Like, but be stupid. Like, I would have said it's a liar. Wasn't it already another case pending where he was playing pickup ball at his house and he pulled a gun on um, the 17 year old kid? Oh, I heard what? the kids at the mall. It might be another thing, but yeah, it was one at the mall and he was working at the mall and shit. And then, um, oh, that's his mom got into it. He slapped the little boy or some shit and his homie pulled a pistol out type shit. But they show his. <laughs> They show him as a kid. He was a little, like they would come from a respectable home and stuff. It's, it's I mean, like, just, well, you know what? That, that, you know, niggas what? got guns in respectable homes. I was about to say, let's dispel that rumor. Just because you grew up in a nice yeah, niggas, area don't mean like. You put on the shirt your mama say, put on to take a picture with. Yeah, yeah. But you <laughs> still got your two. You're influenced by different things other than your parents. Like, our parents didn't do comedy. Who you think used to have a gun back in the day before Twitter and Instagram? Like back, what what old basketball players would have did this same shit? I was about shit. to say Martin Luther King had a two. Yeah. Goddamn, you know how many people was on cocaine before Ma- Michael Jordan got to the NBA? Yeah, everybody was on. Cocaine. Michael Jordan ran the cocaine out of the NBA. He did. Right. He's like, oh, we gotta get better. They used to drink beers on halftime. Yeah, time. nigga, we are no fuck that. They smoke cigarettes, fuck now. whores. Have time, <laughs> cocaine, and play basketball. <laughs> That's why they were ducking, and like they would still bro. score like one thirty, nigga. Like it, they, I mean, they was scoring like you got to do something. You playing in chunks, nigga. That ankle yeah, pain, yeah, ankle pain, right. is a bitch. You got to hit that cocaine. <laughs> got to hit that pop. Got to hit a line cocaine, of numb. You got to put the cocaine on your ankle before you tape it. Got to numb my hamstring, coach. We're going in the back. Shit. We got we got it lined up for you. <laughs> got to bitch suck my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> right in the back. My butthole, get my, get my hamstring loose. Get my hamstring Boy, loose, coach. that's stupid. Only way I get my hamstring loose is my butthole. So only way she going to suck my butthole, I get some cocaine. So what are we doing? Do you want to win the game or not? <laughs> you huh? want to win the game Did you come to win or not, coach? She got to suck my butt loose. <laughs> she got to suck my butt loose. <laughs> I got the white bitch right around the corner. <laughs> she waiting. <laughs> got the white bitch right around the corner. You get me the cocaine. I'm going to go get my ass sucked. <laughs> 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 Come right back, back around to the two. I'm gonna hit 48. Oh, Swear to God, I'm gonna hit 48. Oh, the cocaine, baby. <laughs> Need to start clapping like it's for the ball. <laughs> it's in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, in the corner. Yeah. She had the pay phone. Oh, I need to call. Yeah, bro. So them niggas had pistols, bro. You, you watch? Remember Winning Time? Remember nigga drew down on Kareem Abdul Jabbar? He did. That, mm-hmm. that nigga about to kill Kareem. Like he was finna kill that nigga. <laughs> he said, "Yo, man, this nigga got me kicked out of the team for the murder him." <laughs> what? You gotta die. That nigga was on real cook. Them nigga that. was making sixty thousand a year. Too, <laughs> you see me? I was, I was about to say that nigga making forty two thousand. That was gonna be bad because I was gonna fall hey, back. Yeah, if, yeah, if, get Tyler, you goofy. if Tyler would have failed that uh, the BMF music would have came on. I got everything <laughs> on my mind. Yeah. <laughs> At least you can wish me luck. <laughs> he a wild nigga though. Wish I know. I don't want to really ruin it, but that nigga had fucked the bitch across the street. Then came home and he ain't take no shower. That nigga started washing the dishes. I he like this sweaty. He was sweaty as hell with a sweater on. Like, nigga. Fuck that bitch the same sweater. I've seen that episode. You had to smell like, because the 80s, they wore yeah. a lot of perfume. A lot of if perfume. I'm not mistaken. Even house perfume. Where he fucked his girl? Man. No, he fucked the neighbor. The neighbor with the, with the big old uh, 80s titties. Them titties is Latifah. She had, <laughs> had them titties were Latifah. Titties. Them Ooh, messy breasts. Them messy breasts. <laughs> they were Latifah in. Them for breasts. For about 10 Ooh, minutes. Those on. were breasts. Ooh, I said, wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> this dumb ass nigga, man. He just, Damn, I'm about to say some crazy you, shit. You know, you the only reason I ever seen Queen <laughs> Latifah. <Latifah's laughs> that is such a horrible this charge. This nigga, bro. She wasn't even sitting I up in the studio one like day. That. And he just had this shit up on the screen. Pause. Pause, nigga. Uh, Try to get one look, out, nigga. Yeah, this nigga want to walk in on me. Yo, <laughs> jack it off the Queen Latifah's <laughs> gay. <laughs> That's okay. You better be jacking off the meatball, nigga. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And the funny part, she got her shirt off. She smoking a butt. <laughs> right. I said, this nigga want to fuck the lunch gross. lady. <laughs> Bitch ain't like meatball. Uh, <laughs> nigga want to fuck Khadija. <laughs> <laughs> But not Ooh. that body style. Yeah, the name of this episode is actually Latifah Titties. No longer studs. No. Studs? She studs is a stud. <laughs> the studsman, Latifah Titties. <laughs> Latifah Titties the produces it. The equalizer is the studsman. Latifah Live yeah. is now the studsman. Niggas. That's a it's that's a, that's a duo. That's a, that's a cop duo. That's Brittany Grinder and Queen Latifah. Brittany Grinder and Queen Latifah is a horrible cop duo. That bitch could not fit in the car. That's why it's Brittany Grinder is seven feet tall. Is her voice deeper though? Yeah, that's why her voice gets so deep. Her been deep. Ever what? since college, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, man, that's now crazy. She got a tip fade. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what if they wouldn't let her come back in, until we seen if her jumper and shit was straight? Like, hold on, for, before we come back Real on the plane. Let me see what I'm fitting. Yo, let me know. Ah! Hey, my man, right quick. Hey, bounce that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Yeah, we take the cuffs off. Yo, they, yo, yeah, play for your freedom. Yeah, your team owner said, let me, let me see if you stick a duck. <laughs> They say she's playing this year, man. I'm so happy for her, man, because yeah, that was fucked up. Uh, it was really she, she, She's going to raise the price of the WNBA. Watch what I say. <laughs> she's going to raise the price. I wasn't going to say that, but that's funny. She's going to raise the price. She be, no, she be no, dunking like a motherfucker that's still saying, ain't raising the price. No, no she's no, no, been no. dunking. But she's about to be back as a hero. I wish them the best. That's going to be a good uh, IG clip. I don't see that. We're going to watch it on Reels. You got free tickets with your hairstyle. <laughs> For sure, season. Yeah, it's slick. It's Let me get a do your thing and two tickets to the drink. <laughs> nigga try to join Gang Star. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, I got all the law professors. Will y'all look up Gang Star? <laughs> Please look up Gang Star right now. You can pause for real. We ain't gonna pause. Y'all yes. pause. Right there. Next tab. Great reference. Oh, Jesus. Man. Good that job. was a clean jumper. Clean 15 Damn. footer. Ha. Bottom. Right, my face. Brittany Griner still got it. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, but that's funny. Like, like, women don't support their own people, man. That shit's crazy, bro. I go to no motherfucking uh, spoken word. They go, uh, <laughs> WNBA. They go to the uh, Dick to the Flow show. They will go to that Dick to the <laughs> Flow show. Dick to the Flow show. <laughs> Oh man, I, I didn't even know they had shows. Bro, oh God, God be packed as a month, Y'all boys ain't been doing comedy long enough. Yeah, <laughs> no, we talking about you, baby. you done hit a dick in it. A... So I said, "Yo, what? listen." I said, look, "I said, ma'am, my name is Ace Atlanta." I said, "Ma'am, is please. that literally the name of the show?" The no, nah, I, I forgot. Nah, hell no, nah, I wouldn't do. That. I wouldn't be on that flyer. It's nah, a tour. You nah. crazy? Starring. It's, it's called. It's called. They usually call them a ladies' lock in. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, it's going to be dick to the flow at a ladies' lock-in. Ladies lock so, in look, I'm like, yo, I don't want to be. She's like, no, nah, you're not going to be the UA before them. They don't get there to like me. And I'm like, cool. So, I'm on stage, and these niggas start walking. It's only women. These niggas walk in with their roller bags. I'm like, good night. I'm out. Y'all, yo. Tyler Chronicles is how you follow me. God bless y'all. I'm out, ladies. Oh, you got to put his dick sleeve on. Yeah, nigga had to go, <laughs> they had to go sleeve up. I said, let me get out of here for them boy go sleeve up, man. Hey, what if you went back there, nigga? Watching what if you went back nigga, there? Man, <laughs> I, listen, to I can remember to this day. The stage was right here. The DJ was right next to you, and the door was like kind of behind the what? DJ. I knew exactly how to get out of it. Back where, nigga? Yeah. I don't know where they went. I saw them, and I said goodbye. What if you went back there? I know you had a good joke set up, but I had to stop it. Because you said, what if you, that means me. You said you, that means me. I figured your jacket was back there. They can have it. I don't even like jackets like that. The jacket is a dick sleeve. Yeah, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a hoodie person. <laughs> More so than jackets. in there watching Bessie. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga jacked off the Latifa, bro. Yeah, nah. The nigga pull that out a denim dick hard. sleeve. <laughs> the denim dick sleeve. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> call me you got Jake. the Iverson on back there. Nigga said, y'all got hey. some blue star, man. I want a denim <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no skin on mine. I said, boy, these niggas got the bags like the bitches. They done roll in here, dog. Bro, how many dick sleeves you brought to have a bag? <laughs> like, what oh, do you need bro, a bag man, for? I don't have no answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't got the answer, Sway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you got to put your clothes in the bag once you take them off, maybe. Uh, put them on the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild, though. Somebody, though. Somebody steal your shit. You got to go home with a dick sleeve. <laughs> you got lock. But I got lock my shit up, bro. I can't. You know how fat. You know how crazy it be to get locked up and go to jail. The dick sleeve. Yeah, go right there, like, you nice, ran out of gas. So you gotta get some gas. And shit like that. Rebo, you was you want niggas to walk in with the dick sleeve in their pocket? <laughs> yeah, yeah. say like five on you, nigga. This is like, where your bag at? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> You there you go. Gotta blow it open. Gonna have his phone in that motherfucker. Hold on, let me get my phone out of there. <laughs> nigga, kept pulled up with his phone, his wallet, and his dick sleeve. Now the ballet got my keys. Dick, I ain't really got nothing else. <laughs> oh, I just take my skull cap <laughs> off and make it to a dick sleeve. A nigga pulled his phone out of his dick sleeve is sick. <laughs> Oh, let me get this out of there before I put the dick in there. Let me call you back. He got, got his wallet in his dick sleeve. <laughs> he got a wallet and two phones in his oh, dick sleeve. Oh, man, like, yeah, nah, bro. bro. Nigga steal your clothes, bro. You'll be fucked. The nigga come to the dress room like, not again. Oh, man, I got to drive home with dick sleeve on. I drive a stick. Hey. <laughs> gross. Nigga <laughs> 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 said gross. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what? Shit. I don't know why we were talking about that, but that's, oh, cool. man, that's that fucking craziness. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can't shit. 
Man. The stripper lock in. But I mean, you had to get that money, dog. That was good money. Always good money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like a, a, a above five hundred dollars. Yeah, for like fifteen minutes of time. Always good time. Whoo, shit. <laughs> What's the uh? Mm. Like and subscribe, y'all. Yo, like subscribe, and subscribe. Like, comment. Everybody tired. That nigga like he playing the ABA. <laughs> <laughs> Balls different colors. Dexter Ferguson. Uh, like he's sneaking back there up to up this girl job after he got banned from up there. I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying Why to he get banned? Because he was up there. So he had fell asleep in the parking lot. <laughs> Smoking. It's like they nigga used to train with Clyde Drexler. <laughs> with who? Clyde. 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 You wanted to say Clyde the Drexler. It's your little old Clyde, baby. It's <laughs> 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 bust it, baby. Clyde Drexlers. <laughs> <laughs> funny. Portland. They passed on Michael Jordan and Kevin Durant. Oh, your boy scored 71 the other night. It's cursed, man. The Portland curse. They're not going to do nothing, huh? Not he, for, he just not pick it like a Who scored 71? Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard. Who that? And they dropped the price of his shoes to $71. And nobody bought them still. Damn. Damn. We still don't want these Adidas. Right. Ain't wearing no dollar say, were they shoes. big, big baller shoes? No, they Adidas. <laughs> They dropped all the prices. Yo, Adidas is not selling right now. They feel amazing, though. That's yeah. the crazy part. That's why the Yeezys feel good. They're Adidas, but like yeah. Adidas in general. Or feel you trying on some Dame Lillard's? They, they comfortable? Okay. <laughs> I, thought you I don't wear so basketball nigga's amazing. shoes. Like Michael Jordan is the only sh- basketball player's shoe. I don't wear Kobe's or LeBron. You ain't had no Barclays. When well, you wear Jordan's, you'd you be like, how did he do more. all that shit in these motherfuckers? My foot hurt at this they, little party. This ain't, these is... These is the McDonald's burger. The one he wears, the McDonald's, the burger that's on the commercial. The deluxe. You know yeah, he got the, good, good. the real leather hide. It. Fuck it's the that. one that make you want to eat it, but then you get it. Like, oh, this ain't the same. The same no shit. way he played basketball in these shoes. Bro, Hakeem so Olajuwon had the, the Spalding. Come on, man. In the innies. You the fours, the really. Maybe like the thirteens is a good shoe to play in for a whole season. The twelves might be. The threes, the threes feel like a nigga just broke his foot. <laughs> he had he was out there. If seat. your toenails ain't cut right, them threes gonna mm-hmm. get you in trouble. <laughs> like, damn, I need to clip my toes. Look, the best basketball shoe is a good Harachi soft. You know what, what I'm saying? Get your, you know, it's a, it's a cross trainer. <laughs> That's a bartender shoe, bro. It's, it's a, a cross trainer. Shoe, it's a cross trainer. That's the shot girl right. shoe, bro. Cross <laughs> bartender shoe. Is it what now? Do that again? You cross niggas up. You. Mm-hmm. That's how you did it at church? That's how you was on them? Oh, nigga. Sport court, on. you got to wear harachis. Yeah, it's carpet. It's carpet. carpet, yeah. 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 You fucking falling. Your fake cross is terrible. Right, you the nigga wore cleats for basketball practice. I should be wearing house shoes. He had on cleats. <laughs> at basketball cleats. church socks on him. <laughs> he had the rubber Mexican cleats. Yeah, hooping cleats. Hey, Mexican kids used to come to our school in cleats. Hey, as they regular shoes, for yeah, them rubber, rubber, uh, rubber McGregor's, <laughs> rubber McGregor's, the McGregor's <laughs> at the payless. Motherfucker, you can hear. Oh, here come the Mexicans. Hey, McGregor's at Kmart. Mexicans used to hoop at Hammond Park. Mm-hmm. The motherfuckers was all right. Cleats, nah, stupid. They shoot like this. <laughs> he said, "Yes, definitely." That motherfucker was makes you shoot from behind the head, boy. Like a motherfucker, they be cheating. They be cheating though. Why? They beat y'all, huh? They it's be a, cheating, bro. How? Like, they don't take the ball out. <laughs> you got to make them, <laughs> yo. What does that even mean, bro? You got to make them take saying. the ball out. No, that's what I'm saying. But that nigga, they'll grab the ball straight out the net. And you throw that bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, no, y'all ain't got to take the yo, ball Yo, with the Mexican out. rules, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, we play El Chapo rules. <laughs> Y'all niggas with that underlay defense. Yeah, they nigga. Play like it's, a, it's some guns. It's some guns pointing at them. <laughs> like we can't get the fuck out this court. Yeah, yeah like, bro. It's gonna be a raping soon. It's gonna be a raping soon. Right, I don't soon. Have, it's gonna, gonna be a raping soon. soon. <laughs> playing like they don't have their papers. A rape. Jail rules. <laughs> Jail rules. <laughs> what the fuck? If we don't make enough <laughs> shots, it's getting raped, guys. Be raped if your <laughs> if your oh, field goal average <laughs> drops. Bro, I'm not playing with y'all. What That's too much pressure. <laughs> That's game pressure like a nigga's never felt this. in life, bro. Oh. Yo, you Michael Jordan shots. would not be very good if he knew he was going to get raped after he lost. He probably won. thought he was going to get raped after he lost. How you hoop? We won. How you hoop? He hooped like he was going to go down. Let's get out of here. Anyway. Nigga. Yeah. All right, man. Y'all did a good job this past week. Ooh-ooh. They said some funny shit. With some funny shit that was said on the culture comments. Hey. Check it out. This one is from Zebo Jones. Our last episode, Remo happened to be out of town. It Zeebo. says, "Look like Kamal got a side part, looking like Whoopi Goldberg, Uncle." <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and then another one said, yeah, Kamal cool. got that Loretta, Loretta Divine side part. <laughs> Damn, your side part was on blast. And man. then Zebo also said, Tyler took his hat off and looked like a strong thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was it. Y'all yeah, did a good job. In the group chat. I sent one. Oh, Hilarious. Oh, man. Man. I ain't say that shit, bro. bro. Yeah, I sent one in the group chat. It was funny. Man, that's funny, bro. <laughs> Remember I asked you, like, what's the earliest memory of your pops when mm-hmm. you met him? Nigga, I forgot to tell you mine. Got down. Oh, yeah. He worked at this paper plant by the King Plow, nigga. Oh, they that shit was so, mm-hmm. I just remember the smell. And this nigga gave me, like, $4. It was, like, sitting, the, you know, the kitchen area or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they had a vending vent- they would have vending machine. In the eighties though, nineties, four dollars was like thirty dollars. No, that, that was Eight items, nigga. But he but he got his thumb cut off. Like like not cut all the way off, like halfway. Mm-hmm. That's your head. Like with no nail. It's like a thumb with no nail. That's just what what brought that back up. Oh. But it's hard to eat in a place that stinks. Bruh, it's so hard, bro. And also, you had a daddy, nigga. I did not. Wait, what? You got four dollars? Why <laughs> <laughs> you got to be kidding me? You know where your daddy worked at? You have a bro, father. I, I you I had a daddy, bro. That nigga like, no, kid, no, bro. man. <laughs> bro, bro no I cabin swear, cabin. dog. They say you John Morant right now. This bro. nigga, the man, he came to, man, you Clarence, didn't talk to the nigga again. They say you went to Cramden. Yeah, you know him now. <laughs> I gave you a leather jacket. <laughs> you got a gift, bro. You get out of here. I got a leather. Clarence has really nice pair. TI-83. Memo had. Bro, I promise you. <laughs> nah, my, my mom was probably on his ass like, God damn, nigga, I will pull back up on you if you don't get this nigga <laughs> and a calculator that's going nice to last until he's out of school. Nice. He just got both of them motherfuckers. Nice jacket, nice calculator, bitch ass nigga. You see that little boy over there? He's going to break his heart if he don't get that jacket and that calculator. <laughs> Today, I want it by the night. You see that little boy over there? Don't break his heart again. We're gonna go that pop like this shit. Such a two move. Yeah, with a rayon shirt. He was doing the broom from breaking. He was trying to by himself. He's trying to do. See that little boy over there? See a little boy over there in that imaginary box? I mean, see that boy trying to audition for a gospel mime. He got a gospel mime audition next week. I watched a couple. I watched your Tubi movie. Yeah, he fucking. Yeah, okay, yeah, I watched that shit. What's the name of it? Raheem again? shit. Dirty South House. Arrest. Dirty South House. Arrest. Him and okay. Nav is in there. Yeah. Okay. DC. That's Money what's up. Doing our own thing, yeah, sir. I got to check that out tonight. I seen. Did you see Raheem shit? I did. Gotta watch it. Yeah. With it. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I was supposed to be in Show it. Show support. Show, <laughs> I, saw, I saw it. <clears throat> nah, that shit was dope, man. That shit was dope. Nah, go watch it. It's called yeah, Joke It's called book. Joke Book. Yeah, yeah, joke yeah. Book. Nah, that shit was hard. That shit was hard. Right, you got to get shit done, man. Go support that yeah, shit. Go play it while you sure. vacuuming or something. Cut it off. We don't get rich too fast because he's an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say it on the TV. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bleep that out. Nah, that nigga. I mean, he, but he it's, know a, it. it's a two drink minimum with that nigga. Pause. Like, mm. Nah, that nigga drink like a truck driver. Bruh, he's four foot four. Exactly. He shouldn't be drinking as much as he does. He drink more than two drinks. Hey, man, you, be, you try being Kevin Hart's stunt double. Nah. <laughs> with a heart like Kamal. <laughs> uh, That's my yeah, dog. Come on. All right, man. We talk about Creed. Oh, you saw it? No, I didn't see it, but um, I don't know. I was gonna talk about Michael <laughs> Jordan. Nothing. Being corny. Yeah, I think it was corny. <laughs> what that girl shit? Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Like, you the director, man. You got all the you got the whole budget for the movie. Yeah, you could have easily just walked past her. You could have pooted by that bit. <laughs> I don't want to be like, what's up? It's the corny right. dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Tell the come to y'all party and don't put a name on the list. Ooh, that's good, Teddy. That's the top, top level petty right there. They say he was corny, but shit. Niggas be corny yeah, in middle school. You see that video with the white girl he had? No. Doing push ups on the beach for the white bitch? Oh, I did see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on, man. Get this nigga out of here. Fucking Wallace. On the wire. I think it was Wallace. It was Wallace on the wire, yeah. man. 
I ain't seen none of the you creeds. Like, they put they put uh, Sylvester Stallone out. They done gentrified Rocky. You got the name. Ain't gonna watch it. They put that nigga out that motherfucker. You uh, can't come up here, nigga. Got some old star power. Oh, so now I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch this one. Then. I ain't gonna they put the white man out of it. Come on, I knew you was gonna enjoy that. His face was aging out, bro. Yeah, he looked crazy on Tulsa King too. I'm like, bro, that nigga face trap. is aging out of what though? Of the world. Yeah, his, of the world. <laughs> like, yeah, his, <laughs> he got Burt Reynolds' old face. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga look like Stretch, <laughs> he like Stretch Armstrong in the face. That's what he look like. Stretch Armstrong. Botox me again. All right, man. We <laughs> like to end the episodes with a segment called Secrets Genius Life Coach. Give the people some words of wisdom. Get through the week. Get to the next, next episode on Come On, Secret Genius. The words of the week are this. Just the, um, the parenting edition. You should, right. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> My wife do that. Parenting is the perfect blend of you can do it and find something else to do. Mm. Once you find how to tow that line of encouraging your kids to do shit and also telling your kids not to do shit at the same time, you're going to figure it out. That's all I got. I believe that. It's good. It's, it's good advice. Yeah. Simple enough. Yeah, you gotta encourage too. them. Something very complicated. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> these new kids quit early. They quit fast. Out there, y'all take that serious ass whatever heart. <laughs> Remo got a uh, fanny pack on the way. Oh, we got that. Oh, I thought that F was a fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> 420 is fuck, man. 420 oh, is fuck. Oh, it's coming. Morning culture, 420 is fuck. Y'all bark your calendars. Get your ass to Atlanta. We got some special shit coming. Y'all wanted to We're pull smoking up. Smoking weed and cussing, guys. Y'all better pull up. We on got us. to pull up. Oh, yeah, shit. Eventbrite going to be up soon. That next key. I need y'all for two seconds. And we're going to have merch. And we starting $3 Thursdays at the spot. So they got down. That sounds like crack. Three lamb chop. Thursdays. I'm not eating no $3. Lamb, lamb chops for $3, three dollars, bro. Lamb. Per <laughs> lamb. Right. You are eating huh? crack. Per chop. That nigga eats one cold. chop for three dollars. One chop board. for three dollars. Three chops for nine dollars. Going eating crazy. Gold, you eating old golden retrievers. I don't believe it, bro. Pull up. A pack of lamb costs more than nine dollars. Pull up. <laughs> I said, pull up. Don't do pull the spot up. like that. They Them nigga been food. growing. They oh, got, got lambs in the back. They they do. One they got a they, lamb. They really doing three dollar lamb chops? Yeah, on Thursday. How sway? Stop lying on people, man. Right. Why would I lie about? Because you. That's you. No. They cutting them motherfuckers in half. Ain't no, no way, it's bro. a nigga it's really per like chop. chop. Like you know what I'm saying, three dollars like, a chop in, in the middle. You can't like, get one chop. You can't be like, let me get a one chop. You get twelve of them bitches. That's what I'm saying. Like, right. go crazy. Go crazy, bro. Nah, man, that meat is old. Nah, why would they do that? Because that meat live at the club. It's a real lamb back there. They got it's they ten chop them. minimum. That's the thing. They they got that old I'm sure it's a minimum. Like you can't go. That shit like six hundred pound life crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's a uh, tax return crab legs. Fat, you can send your friends in there three times. Yeah, yeah go back in there. <laughs> hey, y'all, my big friend. Y'all want to go somewhere? Y'all, y'all got to <laughs> get, get your wristband now for they <laughs> so they know you. <laughs> I like mine medium well. You can't overcook lamb either. If you, that's the that's the worst part when you overcook it. Oh, but I thought you were saying it was like it's not possible to overcook it. Yeah, you can't be saying it's not good. Ain't nothing good overcooked. More Than Culture is the brand. This is the More Than Culture show. Come on, Secret Genius. Remo Rock, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan. Oh. We out, man. Vegas this weekend. <laughs> 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 <laughs>